Welcome back to the pig room, you guys, or welcome to the pig room if you are new here. As you can tell from the title of this video, I am adding a new family member into the pig room. Only difference now is that it's not a pig, it's actually a rabbit. I actually had planned on getting a rabbit or two next year. Um, I say one or two because I didn't know if I was going to get a single one then have to bond them or if they were gonna come already bonded. But yes, I was planning on next year getting them, but something happened, a situation arise, and it kind of just fell into my lap and it was kind of hard to say no. So now we're here filming this video and I couldn't be more excited to bring you guys along through this journey. I know I'm excited. This is my first time ever in a long, long time introducing a new species into my family. So this will be an experience and I definitely have a lot of learning to do, but I am ready to take it on. So a backstory on how this all came about because I'm sure you guys are wondering. So I was actually at my cousin's engagement party and her sister, who's also my cousin, had asked me, do you want a bunny? Just flat out said that, do you want a bunny? And I was like, what? I, what do you mean? She had told me that her friend is actually looking for a home for her bunny. Now I had told her that I definitely am interested in getting rabbits. Um, I didn't think so soon, but again, I had done the research. So I was like, you know what? Let me just inquire about this rabbit, this, this mystery rabbit that needs to be rehomed. So I actually ended up texting my cousin the next day and was like, hey, can you send me more information about this rabbit? I would love to know more. And she did. Um, turns out I actually know the previous owner, which is really awesome. It's my cousin's good friend. Um, and she has actually been looking for a new home for this rabbit for the last couple of years. Nothing has really felt right for her in finding the right home for her. So when I had reached out to her, she was so excited because she does know me and also so she knows that I do have guinea pigs. So she was like, oh my God, like, can you take this rabbit? And I agreed to. So I got some more information on the situation and he is a male lion headed rabbit. He is five years old. So he's a little old guy, which is actually pretty sweet, but he has been living in a hutch for the last five years. Um, now they do take him outside. They let him free roam outside in a little pen. Um, they take him on walks on a little harness, which is obviously um, not the appropriate thing to do. But you know, with rabbit owners and other owners, sometimes they just don't know what's good and what's not. Um, but they did try their best to take him out of the pen as much as they possibly could. And then during the colder months, he would actually have his hutch moved into the garage where it would be a little bit warmer. Obviously, I really do appreciate with kind of like moving the hutch around according to different weathers. Now it is her rabbit, but her parents have been looking after it. It has been living at their house. The parents have grown a really strong connection to this rabbit, which is actually really cute because the mom and dad are in love with this thing. But there's always been this heavy feeling on her chest with wanting to find him a new home. Now I do wanna say something before we really get into the nitty and gritty of this video. And that is my love and my passion and my obsession with guinea pigs will never change, ever, ever, ever. Guinea pigs will always, I mean, honestly come first for me. They are some of the most special and near animals to my heart. So that's never going to change you guys. Um, but again, I am taking on this another species. So I'm so excited with having a new animal and bringing a new animal into your family. You're not gonna know everything. You're not gonna be an expert. There's gonna be things that I'm gonna slip up on. There's gonna be things that I do have to learn along the way. But again, I am very excited to learn about him and just connect with him and bond with him. And just really show him amazing love and care. Gonna be doing a lot of content, morning routines, evening routines, um, just bonding with him, actually doing a bonding because he has to be bonded with a rabbit. Um, he has been alone for five years, which is pretty crazy. A neutering vlog, um, he does have to get vaccinated, all kinds of stuff, like literally the journey from start to end, you guys will be brought along that. So if you guys want to see that journey and be a part of it, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Um, I did actually end up going to the pet store to grab some supplies um, and also was ordering some stuff on Amazon. So I think the only thing really left to do is to actually set up his enclosure and actually get things ready because I actually get him in two days. That's when he comes here. So we have very limited time. So I need to get things set up right away. Let's go ahead and start building his enclosure. Alrighty, we are bringing in the big guns, guys. I got the largest cage at the pet store. So I am spoiling this boy to the gods. He is going to be so incredibly happy. I am so excited. Um, so this is by the brand You and Me. I don't know if there's an actual name. It says Two Door Rabbit Guinea Pig and Ferret Home. Um, so as you guys can see here, it's a nice large big cage. I think it's actually the size of this box right here with wheels and it has a second level so we can actually jump up on here um, and be super active. I think it has like a divot for like his food bowl, which is really nice. So it just stays up there. Nice wire cage all the way around so I can actually see him and check him out. And then he also has a little shadowed area right under there. So it's nice and cozy. Obviously I trust the pet stores because 
why would they sell something that's not for rabbits or any animal for that matter? Um, but there is a rabbit on this box, so it's going to obviously be the perfect setup for a rabbit. So let's go ahead and actually set this thing up. This comes with a little pamphlet. It says, living the dream. So obviously it's gonna live a dream in this cage. These are the instructions. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, it comes with wheels. So I can roll this around. This is like the top of the cage that actually goes on the, the plastic base. And then this is the little second level, which just goes like that already. And then I also have this ladder thing. I don't know how this goes though. Maybe the instructions are needed. <laughs> Do I really need this though? Since the rabbit can hop up, I feel like this is kind of pointless, no? But again, pet stores know what they're talking about. So they feel like they, they would include this for a reason, right? You know? Well, the only thing left to do is to actually put on this wire metal grate. I haven't built one of these cages in literally so long, but I think I got it. Okay, perfect. That was really easy, actually. All right, so these little clamps, I think, hold the, the entire thing in place. Going to go in there, lock that into place. I feel like there's probably no reason to have these because I feel like the rabbit's really gonna like this cage because it is so big and spacious. So I don't think we'll have like a want to escape. I'll just do it because they, they come with it. But again, I don't feel like it's entirely necessary because again, this is like a pretty good size cage. It has a door right on the top so you can actually reach in there and grab your animals. They are prey animals, so they don't like to be like that. Um, but again, pet stores know what they're doing. So I feel like they wouldn't include that if the rabbit didn't like that. So I feel like it's fine, you know, like they'll be they'll be okay with it. Maybe they'll get used to like being grabbed out like that, kind of similar to like hawk claws, but they'll be fine. So that's pretty much the cage setup. All I need to do now um, is to actually chuck us in the trash, you know? Chuck this in the trash because this is not an appropriate size cage. If you guys thought I was about to put my rabbit in this, you got the wrong one. I hope you guys know me well enough to know that I would never, ever put a rabbit in this. Not even a guinea pig. This thing is so, incredibly small. If you guys have reached the point of this video where you're like, um, like, what is he doing? Do not worry. Um, I just wanted to give a little scare or funny joke to you guys, um, of just knowing that this, this is not a good cage. This is not a good cage for any animal. This cage has a guinea pig on it, a ferret on it, and a rabbit on it. They, none of, none of these animals should go in this cage. I don't even know any animal that would be fine. Maybe temporarily, like a baby guinea pig in this for like a week or two. But other than that, this is not a good cage. This is like a carrying cage. If you guys are like moving away and need something to put in your car, this is perfect for that. But yeah, no, this is trash um, and it will be returned. Again, this is by the brand You and Me. It's more like poop and pee because it needs to go down the toilet and flushed, never to be seen again. Do not get this cage. Do not purchase any cage from a pet store for any matter. Always, always, always do your research when it comes to knowing the proper care of your animals um, because this is, this is a load of junk. The fact that I can even like hold this entire cage up like this and it doesn't feel like anything's in my hand, it honestly feels like it's air. Um, it's not a good sign. This thing was I think like $140 or $120. I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, insane for this load of junk. You can spend way less for a way, way better and more suitable enclosure. So this is going to be returned, guaranteed. No more jokes. I'm actually going to show you guys everything that I got him. So let's get into it. Here is everything that I actually got for the rabbit. These were actually sent to me from one of my lovely followers and subscribers. These are actually stacking cups, which I do know that rabbits love. So I actually saved these. My pigs have never used them, but I saved them specifically for the bunny. Cause I knew eventually I would get one. So I'm so happy I did. So you can actually fill them with little pellets, forage. Um, and it's a nice little enrichment toy for them to enjoy and play with. Um, and also work for their food because rabbits love doing that. They don't really think he's ever had lots of toys or enriched items. Next thing is a hair buster. I actually ordered this from Amazon. Obviously rabbits shed quite often so they do have to be combed a lot. Um, they also molt twice a year so I'm going to be using this for sure. The owner did actually let me know that he has an awful mat of fur on his like bottom so I actually don't think this is going to do the trick in getting rid of it. It's probably actually going to have to be shaved off so when I do take him to the vet we're probably gonna have to it off. We've got his food. Now he will have to be transitioned off his food that he's on now. His 
previous owner had him on Oxbow Essentials and then they randomly bought like another food, different brand, and it has like little bits of stuff in it, which is really not good. I would have been much happier with him getting Essentials, but I do want to wean him onto the Garden Select because it is slightly healthier. Hopefully he likes his food. I know rabbits, much like guinea pigs, can be very picky. Um, so fingers crossed he ends up liking this food. This was actually gifted to me from G Pig Box. So I thought it would be perfect for the bunny. Um, this is really great for putting in pellets and forage to actually work for their food. For my research, a lot of people did not recommend putting their pellets into a dish because some rabbits get like really pellet crazy and they just want to like scarf them all down. Doing it this way and feeding their pellets on something like this helps to slow down the process. They can work for their food, more mental stimulation. I also got him this really nice cozy bed from Ross. It does have a dog bone on it. Um, as you guys can probably see, it's kind of blown out. So it is made for dogs. But I did think this would be the little perfect mat for the bun. You can flop on it, lay on it, relax on it. It's just super cozy and made out of this really soft fabric. Next thing I have here is a litter box. I actually got this from Ross for $7, which is pretty good. I actually ended up ordering him a custom wooden litter box from Etsy which was like $150, so it was very expensive, but it's like so incredibly nice. But I did want to have something for the time being to have him actually eat his hay in. Rugs are a huge thing for bunnies because they actually don't have any like padding on their feet, it's just fur. So they need something to actually have traction on. They also love to run and binky and all that kind of stuff. But they need something that they're not going to slip on. So I got this rug, um, which actually I don't like this pattern. Um, I actually bought it because the underside, the wrong side, I guess you could say, is very much my vibe of what I wanted this enclosure to look like. A lot of like natural tones. And then I also got another rug, which I felt like was going to be perfect for underneath his salad bowl and also water dish, which is just this kind of oval runner rug situation. Um, this is from Ross and I got it for $8. Also from Ross, I got this Fluffy Friends Cat Scratcher, um, which is just a cardboard scratcher. Obviously it comes with catnip, which I will not be using. I'm gonna toss that. Um, please never use catnip for a bunny, but I did get this for him to chew on and dig on and just have a really fun time with it. Um, this is fully edible, which is really cool. So I'm sure he's going to have a heyday with this. From Amazon, I actually ended up ordering a absorbent mat. So this I wanted to actually put on the bottom of his cage. Um, he's obviously going to be in an X-Pen, which is right behind me, but I needed something to obviously protect my hardwood floors that I had just installed not very long ago. Um, but this was actually on Amazon. It's a pretty big blanket and it was marketed as a waterproof like liner, I guess you could say. Um, but again, I got it for the main purpose of it being tan, but this is nice because it should be able to protect my floors a little bit. Um, and it has the darker like sand color on the one side and then this like light cream beige color on the bottom side. So this will definitely help me because I won't get my floors soaked with urine, um, which is going to be really nice. It's nice and soft, so it's nice and cozy for him. And also this is a great way for him to have traction on the floor to run around and binky. This I'm a little nervous about because it is rather, um, fragile. So let's hope this thing is actually not broken. I think we're looking good so far. This thing is so incredibly cute. Oh my God, it becomes a little stand. Um, this was actually marketed as like a little vintage one, but I love, love, love the colors of it. It's so adorable. Rabbits love to knock over water bowls. So you need something that's really substantial and these are perfect, really nice and deep, but also like not too deep where it's like difficult for them to actually stick their head in there um, and drink some water. Water bottles are not good for rabbits. Please never use water bottles. Water bowls are their most natural way of drinking. Um, so highly, highly, highly suggest and recommend using a water bowl for them. I don't know if I'm more excited or he's gonna be more excited because everything is just so freaking cute. Um, I saw this on Amazon and I was so excited when I saw it because it was so cute. Um, I'll just show you guys the photo of it. I'm not actually gonna put it together just yet, but here it is right here. It's like a little, it looks like a gingerbread house actually, which is perfect because it's actually almost Christmas time, um, but a little edible cardboard house for him. Um, and it has a very similar material on the bottom as the cat scratcher. Um, I'll probably end up putting like a pee pad or something in there, like a bath mat to make it a little bit more cozy for him, but 100% safe for him to chew on, which is really nice. But I'm very excited to actually put this together and hopefully it is the right size for him and big enough because I did see some cats in there, but it's always hard to tell like what the size of an animal is on photos. So hopefully he fits. So that is everything that I got for our sweet boy. I am so excited to go ahead and actually set up the real enclosure. I hope you guys laughed at what I was doing there. I hope I didn't scare you too much, but let's go ahead and set up his real enclosure and get prepared to get our sweet boy because we get him in less than 48 hours.
Alrighty, you guys, so I just finished constructing his X-Pen. I think it's all ready to go. I still need to add in like water, pellets, and hay and stuff like that, but for the most part, everything is all in here. Played around with a couple configurations, but I felt this square shape was just a little bit better because it provided the most amount of floor space for him. Obviously, where he's coming from, he's coming from a hutch, so he is going to have literally so much more room than he does now, which is really nice, and it's all obviously one level instead of two, which just makes way more sense. But yeah, I just have the X-Pen right here. This I ordered off Chewy and it was actually buy two, get one free. So I actually have two right there, but I will end up using these to actually divide the room once he is free roam. But yeah, this is the 36 inch one. I'm hoping he doesn't jump over this. I don't think he should. It does seem pretty tall, but I do know that they offer larger heights, like a 42 inch and like a 50 something, but I felt like those were too big. So I feel like the three foot one is just right and just perfect and obviously that house is not like over here for him to have like leverage to jump over put it in the back corner so i don't think we'll have any issues with him escaping i ended up actually putting the washable and absorbent mat on the bottom again the main purpose for this is to not only provide traction for his feet but to also protect my floors and to make sure that they don't get pee on them um, obviously if he does have some accidents it's totally fine i can wash this and replace it and it's good as new but this thing is super super cozy and also waterproof which is really awesome i actually ended up opting for the lighter color this was the darker side this was the lighter side just because i felt like i was going to add in more darker stuff like the pig mat and the brown house it would have clashed way too much. So I feel like the lighter option was the way to go. Over here, we have his litter box, which is currently just filled with some Aspen bedding and a puppy pad on the bottom. Obviously, if I do see him digging and wanting to have interest in the doggy pad, I will go ahead and remove that. But yeah, there's just Aspen shavings there. Not my favorite. I know they probably won't be for him because I have a feeling they're gonna get like all over here. So I probably will switch to the Tractor Supply Kill and Dry and Pine Pellets and I feel like that'll be a much better option. A lot of people in the rabbit community that I know of do use those and they work really well for them. So I'm probably gonna switch over, but this is all that I had right now, but it'll do the job. Obviously there's no hay in there right now, but when I do get him the day of, I will go ahead and load that up with some hay. Right over to the right, we have his food and water dish, which is so freaking cute. And I just have it on top of this brown pig mat. I do know he's probably gonna get some drips of water everywhere. So this is going to help protect the floors even more. And then over here, we kind of have our cozy area and also like play area. Area. So he has his mat that I got from Ross. Again, this boy, I don't think, has had anything cozy like this. So I think he's going to really, really enjoy it. I hope so. I can just picture him flopped right there and I cannot wait to see that. We also have some pig room toys, of course. We have our jumbo willow hoop, our Timothy crown, our kebab ring. And then also, this is actually a new toy that I developed. So this is my bunny play plate and it has a bunch of textures made out of hay, Timothy twists, little Timothy balls, all kinds of fun things for him to chew on and it's just attached to the cage just like so with those little wooden attachments. So I think he'll really enjoy that. In regards to toys, he really has not had much. So any kinds of textures and things for him to chew on, I think he's really, really, really going to enjoy. And then right over here, we have his little cardboard house. This thing is so cute, you guys. And it actually looks like it's gonna be a perfect size for him, I think. Um, from what I can tell in the photos, I think this is going to fit him perfectly. I may end up putting something in there. Right now it has that cat scratcher material. I don't know if he's going to enjoy that, but if he does, I'll keep it like that. If I don't don't think he likes it, I'll put like a fleece pee pad in there. And it also will act as like a little stool for him to stand on, which is really nice. I do actually have more things that I could put in here, but I didn't really want to overcrowd it. I have like the cat scratcher. I have another wooden house, which actually arrived shortly ago, but I kind of want to keep things really open. Again, he has been living in a small hutch for the last five years. So I want this boy to have as much room to binky and run and just flop around. So I feel like the better option for me and for also for him, most importantly, is to keep things nice, open and airy. So he's got a bunch of floor space to run around you know everything's just as it should be kind of feel like I'm missing something for some reason I don't know what it is but I don't think I am I think I just need to add in the hay and the water and then obviously he's gonna get veggies and pellets and stuff like that but I think for the most part his area is all nice and set up I'll just take a little step back so you guys can see um, he won't be able I don't think so to access these cords over here that one specifically um, but if I do, I mean, I might probably have to move that. I may actually move that little cord right there because I know bunnies can be crazy when it comes to cords. So I'm probably gonna move that and put it on the opposite side of the room. This is just for all my lights and air purifiers and stuff. So yeah, I'll probably move that one, but that other one can stay right there. So this actually just goes like this and then you can just close it. Probably actually should have put the litter box on the opposite side, but whatever, we can fix that later. And then I have these little connector pieces, which can actually attach to hold this together, just like so. I don't know, again, if he's a crazy rabbit or not. 
um, but I do wanna make sure that he is safe. My most important thing with having him in here now is to make sure that my piggies are nice and safe and that he doesn't gain access to them. So I really gotta make sure that everything is super secure when it comes to him being inside of his X-Pen. So these will definitely do the trick. I don't think he'll be able to jump out of here. It seems pretty high. I don't know, maybe I'm underestimating rabbits, but this seems like near impossible for them to jump out, but I don't know. We will see the day of I get him. And then yeah, this just obviously has the latch door, which you can just open up like so. Oh wait, sorry guys, <laughs> like struggling a little bit. So I can just do that and just get in there, interact with him all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I don't think there's really much more to do or to say. Everything is all set up. This is like all starting to feel real now. Just having this in here, knowing the bunny is now coming in less than 48 hours is so freaking exciting. I cannot wait for you guys to meet him. I will say this is definitely going to be a little bit different than any rescue adoption situation that I've ever done. They're actually coming to me, but I do know the owner. So it's kind of it makes sense for her too. Um, but she's also really excited to see the space. So I'm also really excited for you guys to meet her as well. I'm excited to talk to her, get to know more information about him um, and just truly get the lay of the land and the rundown about who he is. Um, Cause I know <laughs> basically nothing about him other than the fact that he's literally the most adorable rabbit ever. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited. This is really big for me because I didn't think I would be getting a rabbit so soon, but things happen. And I feel like I just had to jump on this moment and say, yes, again, he's not been in the best of care. So it just made that decision much easier to say yes and to really get this thing going. So I know I'm excited, the previous owner is excited and I hope he is too. Also, again, I feel like I could not say this more than enough. He will be alone until he is neutered and then we will try to go ahead and get him a friend. Obviously rabbits, just like guinea pigs, are very, very, very social creatures and they do much better with a partner. So I will be trying to get, not like trying, but like actually doing and getting him a friend because I know that there's certain bonds that will fail. God forbid there may be a bunny that I like and I try to bond him with him and it just doesn't work. Um, so I really cannot have my heart set on any particular bunny. It's really truly just up to them. If I thought guinea pig bonding was stressful, rabbit bonding is on a whole nother level. Um, so I am excited for that journey. I'm very nervous, but I love learning new things and going through different experiences um, and also bring you guys along through it as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. And again, this is the beginning of this really exciting journey. So I'm so excited for this. Can't believe I'm getting a rabbit. This is like insane. So the next time that I talk to you guys will be in two days, the day of the adoption. So I will see you guys then. Hi. <laughs> we should probably move. You want to meet my dogs probably first. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, baby. Probably like, wait, what is that smell? We have a new family member. Is he used to yeah. dogs barking? Okay, baby, it's okay. Shh. Oh my God. I know. Okay, we can go upstairs. Okay. So has he ever like been in the house before or lived yeah. in the house at all? Yeah. He has. And also like just in my room when I lived at home. Oh my room, God, he's so cute. I can't wait. I need to get this little camera here. He's literally just like a cotton ball. Yeah. Like actually. He's, yes, he is. So how were your parents this morning? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, not good. My dad, my dad was helpful. Yeah. It's so That's sweet it. that they love him. Like, I appreciate that, but yeah. it's crazy that like you would like talk to them and like they would not understand that like he needs I know. better care. Like it's there, the, like, the understanding is there, but like yeah. the connection is greater, but that's, it should be the other way around. I know. But it's, you know. Well, I thank God it. it's, he's yours and was yours. Like, and you I made know. the final call. Cause I feel like if yeah. it was the opposite way around, Right. They probably would never. Yeah, now I know. And it's like when you when you have a rabbit or any animal in a certain situation for so long, mm -hmm. like you think, well, it's fine because they're alive. They're alive. They're they're eating. They're eating. Yeah, exactly. They're fine. But like then when you grow up and like learn more and more and realize like it needs something like this mm -hmm. or to be in the house. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, now I'm starting to feel guilty <laughs> and like the rabbit e might be happy, but it could be really a lot happier. Hello, mud. <laughs> You can't even like see his eyes. We'll move this so we can actually have some traction. As a kid, I've had like hamsters, guinea pigs, fish, turtles. Mm -hmm. Rabbits was like the, the one I wanted, but never yeah. got. Oh, okay. So this is like a full circle moment for oh, me. Good. Hi, little buddy. He's a lion head rabbit. Yeah. Though, but yeah. So you got him from a farm? Yeah, a farm. Oh in, my God. And like, was there like a bunch of them that yes, you had to choose? Oh. All in a pen like this in the grass. I'll take them all. I took the fluffiest one. Oh my God. Buddy, hello. He is so cute. Oh my god. Perfect. Oh my god. He's still let you do. Like he's very friendly. 
I'm sure you That's, know. Like, it's so good that yeah. he's friendly. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's super, like... Hi, he's buddy. He's very docile. Your eyes are so far in because you got so much fluff. He seems so calm. He is. He's, he's just really so, like, he's like a chill... Rabbit, to be honest. He's really not. That may give me hope for when he gets bonded with another rabbit. Yeah. Because rabbit bonding is on a whole other level compared to pigs. It's like, it can get really intense. Yeah, rabbits can get, yeah, and when they're mad, I'm sure you know they stomp their feet. Oh, uh, yeah, with the little thumping on the ground and stuff like that. I'll be so downstairs watching TV and it'll just be like... Sometimes, like, when I took him from the yard back to the cage, he uh -huh. would stomp his foot. Oh, my and God. And that's when I knew. I was yeah. like... This boy's, really, this boy's really not, not happy. happy. Oh, buddy. I mean, he loves to bask in the sun, though. That's his, like, favorite. Yeah. But. So did he have toys in his cage at all? Yeah, he has, like, hanging stuff sometimes. Okay. I mean, not, like, the video sent you this morning. No, he didn't have but my brother yeah. would buy him stuff all the time. Like the little balls, he likes to like pick things up and throw them. It's kind of, mm -hmm. The rabbits are like low-key dogs, so. That's what I hear, yeah. yeah. You're just a little like chill guy. Your little nose is cracking me up. Isn't he cute? Oh my God. So you said there was like a mat under here? Yeah, so it's actually better now, but okay. you can see. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just matted under Could probably tail. just shave that off. Yeah. Oh, it's a whole thing. Wait, yeah, is this like, his tail? Or? Yeah. So oh, it's so it's just right under here. Yeah, and I just can't it's get It's like rock it. solid. Yeah, I've tried shaving it, but hello. His yeah. feet look good for having lived on wires. Yeah. He, um... Okay, I think he's definitely a boy. Yeah. <laughs> so when I first got him, I didn't know... Oh, it's probably impossible to tell because they're so small. I didn't know. I saw those, I saw those things and I, I thought they were treats. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I called the owner. I was like, um... It's like these red things, I'm not really sure. It's like, yeah, it's a boy. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Those are the testicles. There was wires, but he he really hangs out in like the wood part or the non part. Yeah. Of the, um, of the hutch. Yeah. Is that probably just going to go in the trash now? Yes. Probably in the trash <laughs> or um, they might keep it for a while until they're sure that he, they're, they, they're worried that he's not going to be happy. Oh. So they're and keeping the cage. And it'll come back. That's yes. the thing. Okay. Interesting. Um, she actually said, like, um, you can come back in the spring. I was like, oh, that's what she so said. So beautiful this. Okay. So they're under like a whole different impression about how this, I said, this I said, goes. I said, like, that's inc like incredibly unlikely. Yeah. Um, I just had to tell her like, if, yeah, of course, if he's not happy, yeah, that's not gonna happen, then sure, he'll come back. But like, he's going to be, <laughs> be happy. happy. Like, you know, yeah. it's not that he was like, I know. Was he? Did he look like actively no, sad in the that's cage? The thing. No, yeah. not really. He really didn't. But I did see. But obviously, he was happier when he was in the grass yeah. and had more space and was eating the clovers. He loves clovers. Yeah, I'm, like obsessed. Aww. And hopping, like he doesn't have the space to, to like to do move the, around to and do stuff. The zoomies or whatever they're called. Yeah, the bunny spasms. So yeah. when he did that, then I was like, okay, well, like obviously, I realized like you can't do that in this cage. So. Yeah. No. 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 Oh, these. Oh, I think gonna love these. Little stacking cuffs. Yeah. Let's see. Um, I hear that rabbits really like them, so. That's so cool. We'll see if he does. Just a little bit of forage for him. Um, it's so nice to hear that your parents were passionate about him. That like I said, animals. Mom, like, I'm moving out. I'm more than happy to try to rehome him because he can't come with me. Yeah. No, no. No, no, we love him. So I let that go for a little bit because yeah. they did, and like his cage is pristine like cleaned every day like so fresh good. newspaper under the tray and everything and hay and my mom gave him vegetables every morning okay That's um good. and stuff like that but they don't like hold him and stuff like, yeah so it's like it's not enough they just take care of him do what they need to do and then just leave him pretty much oh geez yeah. buddy yeah. you're not gonna you're gonna get way more than that here yeah you're gonna get all the love and attention when i came home like then i could like hold him and play with him and stuff but there on nice days though sometimes i'd come home and he would be in the pen in the yard thank god so that'd make me feel better okay so they put him in there yeah sometimes. my dad i taught him how to pick him up because you know they can <laughs> he looks so back. cute in the photo of him like actually holding him oh, he loves him well when it comes to rehoming i find that like either it's the owner genuinely doesn't want the animal anymore oh, and they just god. want to get rid of it yeah. or two they genuinely want better for them yeah. and want to find them a situation that's just yeah, way better is, than what they're providing. This is what I've honestly always wanted. Yeah. Habit, so. so when you got him, he was obviously a baby. Yeah. He's did you, big. did you know what he needed before you got not, him? No, not as much. Like to the extent of no, like. No, because 
No. Yeah. Because like when I I had rabbits since like middle school. Okay. So I definitely didn't know. We always had them in hutches. In hutches. Outside. Oh well, the, the yeah. knowledge back then was so limited. Well, yeah. So for like, all small animals. You know, my mom my mom said you can get a rabbit, but it has to stay outside. So yeah. I researched and I was like, yeah, they can stay outside, but they need a hutch. Yeah. But, they didn't say anything really about sizes. And no, stuff. Yeah, of so, course. But at the same time, when I was younger, I had so much more time. That rabbit was in my bed. It was that in is my true. Room. Just so it kind of felt like it was okay. Yeah. But, you know, and he was, they were happy. Like my first rabbit, Bun Bun, very unique name. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was like, I held Bun him Bun. upside down and like he slept. Oh like, my God. I, yeah, it was like. He's probably so used to like not doing anything. <laughs> like, I'm actually convinced. Like, he's probably just. This is what he's used to in the cage. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I do know what you mean. The 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 sometimes that he has his little toys, he's like, yeah. What, are we... what is that? What is that? <laughs> Don't know what to do with that. Oh. oh, is that the good hay? That's some orchard grass, buddy. <laughs> do all your pooping in there, please. Yeah, please. <laughs> I'm hoping he doesn't like find interest in chewing all this stuff up, but I know. like all the cozy items. Like the obviously like his um, he likes to dig. He's okay. A okay. Um, so like even in there, he was digging with the towels, <laughs> and um, I'll have to get him like a dig box. Yeah, he might like that. Do you think it was harder for you or for your parents? Um, I think that um, once I go home, then I'll be upset. But yeah. I needed to get through this, like, huge, oh. like anxiety. Like I lost sleep because I knew that they were gonna be so upset. Oh, look at this guy. Um. I just like had to put, I was just, they're like, you know, they're just more like, I'm very sensitive, but mm -hmm. they're sensitive. So like right now, because they've been seeing him every day yeah. versus me not every day. It's harder for them. Harder for them. Of course. But, but bigger picture, um, probably harder for them too, but yeah. only because they don't seem to get as much as I get. Like this is perfect. Yeah. Like this makes me happy. Yeah, no, this is uplifting for you. Like, this, yeah, is, this what, is what I would yeah. like, I'd leave the house and cry. Because yeah. Because I really knew. You, he needed the. Yeah, I just knew. Care. Like, it just wasn't enough. Yeah. And he's never had any, like, health complications or, like, no, honestly, anything? No, he hasn't. Okay, he's never been. He's never had a droopy anything. He's never. Like, his eyes are crispy clear. And yeah. Crispy. So, during the. I mean, it's getting cold now. Did he live. Is he still. Was he still outside during this month? So. In the hutch? So, he's in the hutch, and then at night. They move him into the garage mm -hmm. and they cover him and then in the morning they put him in the sun and they honestly like move him in the sun as the sun moves. Like Stop. that, I'm not kidding. Like he wasn't like wow. just forgotten about. They just, they did like what they could and like that's what I mean by they did what they could. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like they did the most with what they could do which is like they literally moved him around in the sun like throughout the day to keep him warm. Like wow. they enjoyed that. Like that, they enjoyed doing that. So that's how he was. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's so and then nice. in the and then it, it, the summer though is like when I would really worry because they suffer. Oh, it gets so hot because they can't sweat. Yeah. But the same with the pigs mm -hmm. too. So we do ice cubes in the in the thing, and then they would have a fan on him at all times. Okay, that's good. And um, obviously not in the sun and fresh water like every few hours. Yeah. And then in the winter he has a heated water bottle, so because it used oh, to wow. freeze all the time. My Jeez. brother found this heated water bottle and it worked well. And so they were always not on par with like him being in the house. Yeah, no. they never, I've never. No, it just. We just because of the, just because. Oh, okay. I don't know. Like my family's an animal person. Like if it was just my dad in the house, he would He'd probably be on board. Yeah, like okay. I could convince him of anything. It's mom's mom's call. But mom is. <laughs> Go like, ask your mom. We're not putting a rabbit with poop in the house. Yeah. I'm like okay, it's fine. Um, to be honest, I feel like they would have been okay with it. No, like knowing that he could be litter box trained, he'd be yeah, just like a dog. If I had known how to like do all that back then, yeah. I yeah, know. that's why but I yeah, wanted. Looking back, it's like it's hard because you're like, okay, well you, like you can't, you have to take like responsibility, obviously too, like for sure. Like I know that he needed toys and stuff, and like maybe I should have gotten them more, but like life mm -hmm. is crazy. No, I understand. I, know, I totally understand. Life is complex. It yeah. wasn't always as easy as, like, you'd think to just go and do this and that. Um, it's also not cheap. Like, they're expensive. Well, oh, that's know? why I was, I got distracted mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, that's the thing, too, is, like, the resources. Like, people don't, life happens, and then, like, you realize, like, you can't do more and more, like, what you want. Of like, course. You get them all the toys and all the best food. The food is expensive. Yeah, it's not, it's not cheap the, at all. What was the food that you get? The Oxbow? Oxbow? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's pricey, and, and he's hungry. Yeah. <laughs> they can eat. And then I got older and I was like, 
uh, okay, yeah, but it's like very expensive. And then, you know, then you start to like your wheels are turning and you're like, well, what can you do? Yeah, I mean, now then you have to make a choice. Then you also learn that he needs more than a hutch and like to live outside. Well, now that, it's yeah. like, and like now we're like back to square one. You yeah, know? it's like now you have this whole animal that you thought you knew how to care for because you hold it, you play with him, but it's just yeah. It's totally different now. You just knowing what you so know. He's so excited. He's right so now. happy. Like, yeah, I had two hamsters, but again, like I was younger, so the the information that we have now yeah. is not at Did all you, what we had back you had, then. Had like the tunnel cages. I had the critter nation. Yeah, they're like the small. It's yeah. literally jail for them. I. And it's like, oh my god, so cute. He's like chewing on the bars and like climbing. I'm like, no, this boy wants to escape. Which you I see, did find him thought. escaping and stuff like that. Oh. He went missing. He was behind my fridge. Oh, mine was missing for two days, and you're never gonna believe where I found him. <laughs> he was in the Cheerio box. Stop it right now. Yeah, we went to have the Cheerios and he was in there. He was I'm just not kidding. Hanging just, out in the Cheerios. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I posted a year ago every, everywhere. I started with people I knew if they wanted a rabbit. Like That's always a way to go, yeah. And my neighbors I had a good yard. I thought maybe they could like I don't know. It just yeah. nothing ever worked out. But um I would say about I don't know what changed, but uh, I would say about like when I started to move out Maybe because I was taking him out of the cage less, but the setup mm -hmm. wasn't good. Um, he was for like the like the bathroom mm -hmm. stuff, and he was just I mean filthy at the bottom. Oh God. And that and then every time I'd come home, I'd see that, and mm -hmm. I'd literally break down crying, and I'd bathe him and dry him and clean it up. But like I come back to the week, it was like, constant, it was, the same thing. And then I was like, okay, now I'm like freaking out because I'm like, first of all, it didn't used to be like that. Mm -hmm. It really didn't. It was not. He was never like. He was never a dirty, dirty rabbit. Um, and then, so then we got in, that's when we got a new cage mm -hmm. with wires because I thought it would, maybe it would control. Yeah, it wouldn't sit in it as much. Yeah. So I was like, one thing after the other was just like, yeah. But and they then, were both hutches. Yeah, they were both hutches. One had wire, just one didn't. Yeah. That was weird. I don't know. Yeah, so when I was researching, I didn't know that rabbits don't have padding underneath their feet. Like dogs, like they have like the actual skin padding. They just yeah. have fur. Fur. Yeah. So when it comes to being on wires, they're more prone to like bumblefoot and getting bumblefoot. sores and stuff like that. Yeah. So, like but I'm so surprised he doesn't have anything. I mean, he's. I but it's not like he's running around, right? I wouldn't think under like on the wires I mean, and stuff like that. He's hopping away. Oh, he's hopping. He's hopping away up All and right. down and up and down because, like I said, you're right. Like he just needed stuff to do. He's just hopping around. He also would do that to get her attention. Oh my god. Yeah, like he like pounds. <laughs> he his knew foot. what he was doing. Yeah, like. In the morning, my mom, this is what she was, like, sad about. She she opens the windows in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and she cuts up the apples. And when the rabbit hears the... The knife. He starts, Nipping. like, banging on the cage, like, up and down. She's like, yeah, I'm coming. And then she gives him the <laughs> apples, and he's happy, so... This has been a very eventful 24 hours. I feel like you guys have missed so much. Excuse my voice, I have just gotten no sleep. I have been taking care of this one right over here. So a lot has transpired since the last time that I actually talked with you. Um, two things to be exact. So 
when I brought him here, um, you know, everything was fine. He was acting normal. He was jumping around. He looked really happy. Um, he was obviously exploring. I should probably actually just show you guys a little bit. Um, he was obviously exploring his new surroundings. So I was very happy to see that because I was like, oh my God, he's getting used to it. He loves it. That makes me happy. And then once the previous owner left, Ava, for a few hours, I was like, why is he not pooping? And that scares me because with rabbits, um, they are very sensitive and they can get GI stasis very fast. Um, and one telltale sign that they are in GI stasis is not pooping. So I decided to go ahead and give him some veggies um, and he ate that. I gave him some dill, some parsley, and some green leaf lettuce and he munched down on that. He really enjoyed that. Uh, but I did notice that he wasn't really munching on that much hay. Just like little bits and pieces, not like a crazy amount as I would expect a rabbit to eat. Um, and also not drinking a lot of water. I knew something was up. I really did. When I just have a feeling Typically it's correct, especially when it comes to my animals. So I ended up monitoring him all last night just to see if there was any poop that came out of him. And there wasn't. So I rushed his little butt to the emergency vet and I was there for about five hours um, dealing with this and trying to figure out what was going on. Lo and behold, he was in stasis. Was not surprised to learn that because I knew he was. Put him on fluids. Um, he was rather cold, like his body temperature, so they put him on a warmer as well. And then they also sent me home with three medications and to put him on Oxbow Critical Care. Um, so he's on meloxicam and rifloxacin and cisapride. Cisapride, I find, is the main medication to really get that gut moving, so he's on that about three times a day. So yeah, this boy already had his first vet visit with me and it's been less than 24 hours of having him. Again, this is something that I have to be prepared for and I want you guys to know that this is sometimes a situation that you will find yourself in when it comes to owning these animals. Um, rabbits are so sensitive, like incredibly sensitive. He's, he's so cute with them like, running around and stuff. Um, but yeah, they're very sensitive. I find that they're more sensitive than guinea pigs. Um, but literally the drop of a needle, they're mad, they're pissed off, and they never want to eat again. So you got to deal with that. The vet was not cheap because it was considered to be an emergency situation. I didn't have like an appointment or anything. Um, so that cost me, I think, $407. When I got home, I administered his first doses of all his medication. And it seemed like it really helped because right afterwards, he was jumping around. He was doing little zoomies. He was eating. Um, again, not really drinking that much or eating like a significant amount. Right now, he's actually doing pretty good. Um, which is nice to see, but I'm like, where is the poop? Like, I need the poop to come out of that little butt. So I'm on standby right now with him, and hopefully he has a bowel movement because it would be really nice to see that. Um, but in the meantime, again, I have done what I could. I consulted with my vet, I got medication. Also, I wanted to mention that he did not have any gas, so he does not need any gas drops. Um, his stomach wasn't distended at all. He's not been in a car for like years. He's been in that hutch, um, and then the most transportation that he's ever had occurred in his life was actually being picked up from the hutch and into that pen to play in, um, and that was pretty much it. So this boy is not used to a lot. So with the move and the car ride and a new environment, he is definitely overwhelmed and things like this can happen, but it's super important to make sure that you are ready. Second update, which is pretty crazy, is that I'm allergic to him. Like very, very allergic to him. I broke out in hives after Ava left um, and I was interacting with him and petting him all over my body. Well, portions where like my skin was actually exposed. Um, a little redness in the chest, like under my shirt, but for the most part, I had hives here, I had hives here, I had hives on the back of my hands, front of my hands, everywhere. I'll pop up a photo of what my arm looked like last night. Um, it was not a pretty sight to see because I was just broken out everywhere, redness, rashes, there were just hives everywhere. Um, Oh my god, that scared me so much. I was like, what was that? Everything now is pretty much cleared up. There's just like some little remnants left, um, but thankfully I had some allergy medicine on hand. No, I will not be getting rid of him just because I'm having an allergic reaction. Um, I took this on. Obviously, he's in the best of care. If I can just take one pill a day, 
I don't mind doing that, um, but again, yeah, it is thankfully just a skin reaction, and I'm not having, that sounds so funny, I'm not having any like runny noses, my throat's not closing up, my eyes aren't watering, um, it's literally just my skin. Uh, my skin's very sensitive overall when it comes to anything. I can't really use any fragrances on my body because my body does not agree with them, um, and I guess also rabbits too. And it makes no sense because it's like, why is my body allergic to literally the cutest thing on earth? Like this little fluff ball, my body's like, nope, we're gonna reject that. I don't understand. Before I go, I also wanted to just quickly give a little recap on my conversation with Ava. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I felt like it was a good conversation. We talked a lot. Um, I did have to edit down a lot of that conversation uh, because we talked about just everything pig related, rabbit related, life related. Um, it was a long conversation, but I tried to like pick the most important bits to really just show you guys. Um, but I really wanted to include you guys in that conversation because it was open, it was honest, it was real, it was raw. I felt like it was such an important thing to have you guys there for um, because it, it happens every single day with owners realizing like, oh my God, this care that I've been giving this animal for the last couple of years is not at all what's appropriate. So now I have to make a decision. Do I wanna continue with this care that this rabbit's been getting or do I wanna switch things up? I want to applaud Ava for picking the ladder because it's not easy. Um, it's a lot of hard work. Um, emotionally and physically and I really just truly want to uplift everyone within this community that owns rabbits or it's been through a situation like this um, where if you have had to rehome an animal it's the least selfless thing that you guys can do especially when you're bringing them into a more appropriate situation and even better care he literally has never jumped on top of that that is his first time that I caught it on camera that's like me catching my baby doing his first steps mr. Milo it's so good because I see him being healthy, but like, it's just the poop. <gasps> Did he poop? Guys, oh my God, wait, do I see poop? I think I do. Guys, there is a massive poop. I need to show you guys, oh my God. Guys, there is a poop right there, and then there's some back there. Mr. Milo, good boy, you pooped for daddy. Thank you so much. <gasps> Oh my God, there's poops in there. Guys, <laughs> I am so relieved right now. Wow, this is incredible. I don't even care that he didn't poop. Well, he did some in the litter box, but I don't even care that he pooped on the mat or on his little cozy little dog bed. I felt so nervous for him, I really did. I was like, what are the odds in the first like 24 hours of having him that this boy is like not feeling good? All right, I feel so much better. This is like huge, this really is. And I'm kind of smelling it right now but I've never been more happy to smell poop in my life. Good morning, you guys. So it's currently about 9 a.m. and Milo, as you can see, is just relaxing. That actually seems to be like his favorite spot because he does not move from there. He loves sleeping there. But Ava actually was just here and she dropped off some things for Milo and just wanted to say hi and check him out as well. Obviously, I've told her that he's not doing well, so it was nice for someone familiar to be with him. She did bring over his old food, which is the KT Fiesta. Now, I know guys, this is not a good food um, to be feeding rabbits because it does have so many filler and all these kinds of like fruit pieces, but because it's super important to wean your rabbit off of their old food onto new food, I do have to give this to him. I won't finish the full bag. Yeah, he's not having any interest in the new pellets that I got for him, the healthy version. So he will have to get these for some time. He actually did eat a little bit, which is good. And I did throw in some of the new food. Hopefully he takes to that and not just this. But having been on this food for a good amount of time, he's not gonna switch easy from this because this is super delicious to him, which is very sugary to us, which is not good for them. Um, but obviously they do love it, but we got to switch things up. Um, so again, yeah, I am going to give this to him for a little bit and then we'll wean him onto the better food. He did actually end up pooping a good amount, which is back there, as you guys can see in the castle, which is very good, a lot more than yesterday. So thank you so much, Milo. He actually did a good amount of peeing as well back there. I had to take out the dog bed because it was soaked in urine and actually put down um, one of our pig room absorbent mats. He did some pooping as well in the litter box, which was nice to see. Um, so yeah, more poops are being produced, which I'm really happy about, but it's not a normal amount. The size of them is inconsistent. Um, some are wet, some are dry. So I actually am taking him to the vet at 2.30 today. Gonna get him checked out by my actual vet um, as compared to the emergency vet. I trust my vet so much more. She's so good 
um, and actually specializes in small animals. So I feel way more confident and comfortable as well with bringing him there. So we're actually gonna end up doing probably an x-ray and maybe some blood work just to see if he has an impaction or if there's anything else that's going on um, that could help dictate why there's not a lot of poop production. I'm spending a pretty penny on this boy and it's only like day two of having him. But again, very, very, very important to make sure that you guys are ready to take something like this on when you added a new animal because you really can't predict what could possibly happen um, when it comes to their health. So I'm glad that I was ready. Um, I do have my own savings account specifically for my animals. So being fully transparent with you guys, um, things do arise, my piggies get sick, he's now sick. So I do have to be able to afford that. So thankfully I have a savings for that. So super, super important. Make sure you are saving money for your animals because if something happens, you need to be able to pay for it. Ava actually also brought over some Timothy hay for him. He is getting orchard grass. That's what I've been putting inside of his litter box, but he actually was getting Timothy hay before. So we thought maybe he would find this a little bit more enticing because this is what he's used to actually eating. Not really much interest. So that lets me know that I feel like there is really truly something going on with him. He's not having like normal cravings to pellets um, or hay or veggies as much as he probably should. Something's not 100% right. So that's why I really wanna go ahead and get him checked out because little man, he's not doing well. He was out for some free roam time, which was good because he was jumping around and exploring and stuff like that. He loves free roam time. It's honestly like his favorite thing. Um, I mean, compared to the pen, it's a good size, but he has way more room once he's out and about in here. So it's been actually an hour since I've last talked to you guys. And I just went ahead and actually took out his absorbent mat that was right there because he actually did a fair amount of pooping inside of it, which is really good to see. They are not the most healthy looking poops. Like they're pretty inconsistent in size, but he is having some bowel movements, which is really good to see. <laughs> he is flipping the forage mat all over the place. He's not actually eating the pellets, but he's rather just playing with the actual thing. <laughs> He's so funny. Um, he was actually eating some pellets before, so that was good to see. Again, it is his old food, so he is used to that food, um, but I'm happy he is eating something. I think it's definitely helping him out to some degree. Obviously there are poops, so it lets me know stuff is happening inside of his body. So I actually just wanted to feel the poops. So there are some that are actually attached by some fur which can happen if they are ingesting some fur. Actually, a lot of them are. I'm almost wondering if he has a hairball. This one's a mushy one as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually replace this. Maybe he has an impaction and that's what it is. If he has a lot of hair in there, not entirely sure, obviously. Again, this is my first rabbit and I don't know everything, um, but from what I have seen and know, I know that can be the case. So I will definitely be getting that x-ray and I think we'll be able to know more. So all I do is just hold on to the mat and then just work starting from the edge, loosening the basically the matted dead fur from okay. the normal fur. That's all. It just comes right off. Mm -hmm. Usually. Again, like here's a mat that's like in his scent sack, poor little man. Now, if you do that, you get an uneven haircut, buddy. <laughs> just sort of, it doesn't even have to be super short. Yeah. You can just sort of just like right whisk some of that fur around and then you can immediately see the difference oh between so this better. face and this side, yeah. you know? 